Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Jacob's Family Reviews, where I give an honest, unbiased review on many different products, and you decide if it is right for you. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Now, if at any time during or after the review video, you wish to learn more about a product or want to purchase it, simply click on the link in the description below this video, or you can click in the link at the top right corner of that review video. When you click on that link, you'll be taken to my Amazon storefront video page like this. Let me get it for you. There you go. Uh, but don't worry, you don't have to watch this video again unless you want to. <laughs> but uh, to get to the product page, you simply click on the link right here at the bottom left under that video and it will take you to that product. But before you do, if you could give me a thumbs up right here, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So let's click over onto the video link and get you to the product page. And there you go. Where you have, there you go, where you have pictures, photos, other videos, reviews. Well, you know, it's Amazon. Okay, so without any further ado, on to the product review. Thank hey, you. everybody. Today's review video is going to be on the Cuisinart ICE 100 ice cream and gelato maker. This uh, will hold about one and a half quarts. The really good thing about this particular model is, and the reason why we bought it, our friends have one too, is because the compressor is a high grade compressor. It's like commercial quality. I mean, it gets, it, it works very well. There's been no issues so far. It's quiet and it gets this, um, this ice cream pail here very, very cold quickly in just about five minutes. Now, I, I turned this on before I started the video. As you could see, the standby light is on. Well, when I turned it on, it was making the compressor noise. And right now, it's like frozen. It's like very, very cold. So it's ready to go for your ice cream batter. Uh, we made ice cream in this, we made dairy-free ice cream, and we did keto ice cream too, which is a bit more trickier. There's a, a bit more steps in, in involved for, for making the ice cream batter, but it comes out like nothing you've ever tried better than what you find at the stores. Not kidding. Um, so it, it's a solid machine. It's built well. It's Cuisinart. This thing probably weighs like 35 40 pounds so it's it's got some serious weight to it and it's fully automatic you just turn it on it's on right now you hit the timer oh wait a minute it, there you go you got the timer you hit it it's set for 60. you usually start it at 60 and then you just watch it and then you put your batter inside there and make sure your tail is cold it's cold now but what i usually do is i tell my friends to also put this your pail and the paddle into the freezer about a half an hour before you want to start it. So when you're ready to go, they're both like uh, frozen cold. So you put your paddle in there, make sure it's seated well. And the arrow lines up with this. It's kind of tricky. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Okay, good. We got it. Um, but that's one, uh, one flaw about this is just this lid here. Sometimes I uh, have to mess with it. I have to keep trying to monkey with it and then it, uh, it finally snaps in place and then you hit start. Once your ice cream batter is there, you put the cover on and just hit start. And it just goes around and around. It probably, like I said, it, it, it takes about several minutes to get the pail frozen cold you put your batter in there and then you just you set your timer and then go and it makes excellent ice cream we've had no issues with this at all except for this lid now as it's going you've got the a tiny opening here where you could put like chocolate chips in there, ice, uh, um, candy crumbles, nuts maybe, whatever you want to put in there, coconut flakes, 
and just shut it and it mixes in. Probably takes about, depending if you're making a gelato or ice cream or keto ice cream, probably around 10 to 18 minutes, maybe longer. And then you're ready to go. As soon as it's done, hit stop. Turn off the power and you're ready to go. And if you want to make more, you can. Just take this out, clean it, put the pail back in. This would be still on. And put your new batter in there. You close it up and hit start. You're ready to go. Highly recommended for ice cream uh, lovers, gelato. It's perfect. And for keto ice cream too. Highly recommended. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.